So it's a two-run shot to right center, his second of the game, as the blowout continues. Standing in now, Brendan Lowe. As he'll come up empty that time on a sinker at strike one. That batting average up in the stratosphere here to begin play. 14 homers and 62 driven in. Hit hard on the ground towards second. Throw on to first, so a good comeback there as he gets the first out of the inning. Now that is Digging in now, base. Matt Duffy. If you remember, he motored around the diamond for an inside-the-park home run last at-bat. I got to be honest, that was certainly fun to watch. There's only a few moments in baseball that can be as exciting as an inside-the-park home run. The left fielder, number 29, Tommy. Into the box now, Tommy Pham. He'll try to follow up the double in his last at bat with another big hit right here. Yeah, he jumped all over that first pitch last time up. Interested to see if he has the same approach this AB. Lifted in the air out towards left center. And that'll get down out there for extra bases. Duffy is on his way home. Now it's cut off, a throw to the plate, but this won't be in time as he's well safe and the run scores. This is an easy decision for him to try now for third because he has 43. the play right in front of him. So he doesn't have to rely on any of his base coaches. Good decision to keep chugging, and he makes it all the way around safely. Into the box, Michael Perez. As the first pitch to him is in there for a called strike one. And we'll see if he can get something into the gap to make it interesting. He's had a great game so far, but needs the triple to complete a cycle. Right side. Throw from shallow right will get him at first, but the run will come in to score. And here with the infield the back, fielder, they were seven. giving him the run on a ground Air ball, Air. so he just takes advantage of that Air. and drives the run home. Good approach. Eric Thames will stand in yet again, and he's looking for history now. We take you back to his last home run. This was his fourth of the ball game, and it needn't be said that five in a game has never been done before. First pitch of the at bat on its way. Back up the middle and in for a base hit. He takes the turn and heads for second. And he'll coast into second here with a two out double. The batter, the designated hitter, Gagno Robertson. In now, Daniel Robertson, as he lines it hard to the right side, but out of play. He's ready. Here's the 0-1. Takes this the other way to right. Rickard is there, and he puts it away to stop the bleeding. So they nearly bat around here as eight men come to the plate and they push across four runs. Seventh inning coming up. The Rays lead it 37 to nothing.
That'll bring in Joey Rickard. Really 0 for 2 on his line thus far. The right Starting to run out of time. Joey. They haven't been able to score any runs as we're moving late into this one. A perfect time for this leadoff guy to try to get on base and ignite a rally. Textbook pitching performance so far in this one as we move into the later innings. First pitch. Hit strikes. How about over 90 percent? That's a about as good as it gets. Ryan Stanek is into the ball game as well as he takes over out in right. Yanni Chirino. Struck him out, and he becomes the ninth strikeout victim thus far. So he's still got his shutout working here in the seventh, and with that in mind, we check out the league leaders in shutouts. And as you see there, that number has him tied for second in the AL in that category. Jonathan Villar is... In with one away now as he swings and misses here at strike one. Ah, he just ramps up and gears the fastball by him. 0 oh and 2. He's still looking great to me out there on the mound. Punched out the first guy in the seventh, and he's jumped ahead in the count right here. Looks like he could stay in this game a while longer. So he notched the backwards K on that one. Jonathan Villar is the second out in the seventh inning. So now the Oriole cleanup hitter, Mark Trumbo, 0 for 2 from him so far in this one. Fastball on the first pitch, and it's taken for strike one. Oh, man, he's got a chance to strike out the side on nine pitches. Seven down, two to go. No runs, just one hit, and no errors for the Orioles so far. And yet another strikeout here. His 11th of the ball game, and this one ends the inning. So add one Ladies more name to the record book here Northern as he strikes out this side on nine strike. pitches. We're back with more on this Monday. At the plate, number 11. He's newly entered into the ball game, so this will be his first trip to the plate here in inning number seven. Here's a shot to left field and deep. Look at this. And gone. An absolute bomb. A solo shot here to left. Seven home runs for him on the year now as they just continue to pour it on here. Michael Gibbons please. comes on to pitch now from bullpen now in an unexpected move. He's Number their closer, 60. so it's a surprise Michael. to see him here in the seventh. Yeah. Up next for Tampa Bay, the center fielder. Guillermo. Stepping in now, Guillermo Heredia oh, popped up. Trumbo shading to his right, and he hauls it in for the first out of the inning. Stepping in, G-Man Choi. He went deep for a two-run homer in his previous at-bat. Here comes the first pitch. This one is launched. Look at this. And that ball will stay fair, and it's gone. A home run. A solo shot down the line in right. His third home run of the ball game as this lead got even wider. Now batter. Number eight. Standing in now, Brandon Lowe. This will take a look at a slider here that finds the zone for strike one.
This is pulled into right. Rickard is right there as he takes it for the second out. The third baseman, number five, Matt Duffy. Up next for the Rays, Matt Duffy. Lifetime against this particular arm. He's two for three. Here comes the first pitch. Yeah. Fastball taken, but that gets the zone for a strike. He's ready. Here's the 0-1. Line drive to center field. Borges will get there, and he puts it away to retire the side. So they get a couple of runs on two hits, no errors, and no one left aboard. We'll look ahead to inning number eight now. The Rays are in front, 39 to nothing. And here's the big right-handed power threat, Trey Mancini. He, he leads off, off their the half of the eighth, and they've the been unable field. to get that starter right. out of the game to this point. And yeah, he settled in early on the mound, partly due to the lead his guys gave him to take some of the pressure off. He's taken that and pitched very effectively in this one. Into the windup, here comes the 0-1. Fastball was too much for him there, swung right through it. Wow, he's cruising right now out there. Four straight punch outs and working on number five. The wind up and the 0 2 pitch. Ooh, tough oh, tough to lay off there, but it's called a ball one and two. Boy, it's hard to sit on an 0 2 fastball. I think that pitch just locked him up a bit. But lucky for him, it was just a little out of the zone. And it's fouled away. And he will take strike three call. He's got another one. Five straight strikeouts. And that's the first out of the inning. So you've got to figure he's got now a good batting. chance here to finish Number this one 24. off. And with that in mind, we take a look at the league leaders in complete games. And as you can see there, he's part of a flat-footed tie for the AL lead. Ready now for Baltimore. DJ Stewart. He steps in off a base hit in his last at bat. Yeah, guys, still the only hit in this game so far. They've been pretty well shut down. Guys on the mound have really much controlled the whole outcome up until this point. Fastball called for strike two. This guy's pitching really well in this one so far. You could just see he's awful confident attacking the strike zone. And when he comes off the mound at the end of the inning, looks like he stepped in a big old bucket of sassy. Got him. As he just continues to mow down these hitters, 13 strikeouts field, now. Man, this guy's on his game today, Peter. not only when he's throwing Boy, strikes, but how about the amount of strikeouts? And what's even more impressive, no walks up to this point. So he's pounding that zone with strikes, and he's making these hitters swing the bat. Swing and a miss, and he's behind 0-1. Swing and a miss, and he's in trouble now, 0-2. Boy, he's been great in this one. He's only one strike away from putting another zero on the scoreboard. Popped him up. Choi in foul ground, and that ends the inning. One, two, three, go the Orioles. And as you can see, They are way behind. Stepping up to the plate, Yanni Chirinos.